This is Kerry Artek with Artek Advisory, and this is the weekly supplement to uh, the After the Bell segment I do with Chip Flory on Monday afternoons for the week of Monday, October 5th. I actually recorded this Monday morning. I'm covering three markets on today's show, uh, December corn, November ethanol, or whatever month may be trading on those longer-term charts during the month of October which is November presently, will roll to December later in October. And uh, so corn, ethanol, and wheat. December corn, December wheat, and presently November ethanol will roll to December ethanol later in the month. Let's jump into corn right away. Uh, if you've been listening to the show, you know that I have a, um, a sign of strength or a buy signal uh, following a settlement uh, several weeks ago above a long-term channel bottom. Uh, that we settled below in the middle of March at that point in time. Now, this is a monthly chart. Each of these bars represents a full month. And you can see that last March, March for the first time, we settled below this long-term 15-year channel bottom after having tested it a half a dozen times or so the previous two or three years. And that uh, indicated to me uh, the likelihood at that time for longer-term selling pressures to build, which is to say well into 2021, um, you know, and I was open to lower price activity actually over that time horizon into the 220s perhaps. The market rejected that longer term sell signal, in, you know, in September by closing above the formation. And this, you know, a failure to follow through on a longer term signal is in essence a sign of strength over the near to midterm time horizon. You could even say longer term time horizon with regard to December corn. If you've been listening to the show or reading my newsletters, I do have a daily uh, Chicago Board of Trade corn letter uh, that I am now anticipating the low $4 area, 407 and a quarter to be uh, precise. And that is... Um, you know, essentially this, um, what do we have here? Oops, wrong tool. 407 and a quarter is um, a 5 eighths Fibonacci retracement from the 2019 high A to the recent 2020 low B. So on the way up, 5 eighths is 407 and a quarter. And it lines up nicely with uh, these former highs and lows. And uh, it is an area that I'm anticipating by the end of the year, so long as we continue trading above 365 and a quarter. Let's jump to the more near-term outlook on the weekly continuation chart, which also presently reflects the December 20 contract. We have a channel top coming down. The market has spiked through, did not settle above last week. Uh, the critical question will be whether we settle this week, Friday, the week of Monday, <clears throat> October 5th, above. 379 and a quarter, and if so, then that 407 and a quarter I just showed you is likely two to three weeks away where we can actually top out through winter and into spring. Uh, but I'll go back to this long-term chart here. I've been mentioning that having rejected this long-term sell signal, the market is free now to continue into the 460s. I'm going to say spring, summer of 2021, this area is in reach. And especially if we settle above that 407 and a quarter area in the coming weeks, then yes, I think three to five month target at 465 half is certainly something to consider. Um, downside, you know, holding below 379 and a quarter, this formation does allow bearish retracement over the next week, two or three, into the 365 and a quarter area where once again, uh, the broader corn market can bottom out through the balance of the year and possibly well into next. Let's jump into ethanol. Ethanol. Uh, we had a buy signal uh, in May when we settled the month of May above the April high, which was the move high, which is the lowest this contract this uh, market has ever been. And so that's significant. Uh, you know, I do look for very simple buy and sell signals on the bar chart. There's a little kind of a candlestick approach, if you will. So having closed above the 1.043 high was in itself a buy signal. We had some tests along the way in the 120s. One point, you pick your point. I'll be showing you that in a moment. But overall, this 1.527 formation is sort of the uh, the mark, the ceiling, if you will, into next year. I'm going to say that it's roughly consistent with that 407 and a quarter area uh, in corn. Obviously, these two markets are are related. 
Um, so, um, you know, I'd say if corn were to test 407 and a quarter, that targeted area over the next month or two, then 1.527 is likely to be tested. Uh, now, this is a monthly chart. It, uh, it's for the entire month of October, this 1.527. This market presently reflects the November 20 contract will roll to December in later October. So just keep that in mind that the December contract will inherit these uh, resistance and support levels. Um, let's take a look nearer term at uh, ethanol. Um, this is a weekly chart, weekly continuation, not monthly, presently November 20 contract. This is that 1.527 formation I mentioned a moment ago. And right here, 1.251, this is good for the next few weeks, 1.251 area, able to absorb selling uh, into November trade. Uh, and it is also a meaningful downward pivot point into later year. If we were to close below 1.251 in the coming weeks, then I do believe this uh, former high, the April high, would be in reach over the following month or two where the market can bottom out into uh, spring of next year. Uh, I do believe this is probably a good area to bottom pick uh, well into 2021, 1 1.043. And once again, it's not anticipated unless we close the week below 1.251. Until then, 1.251 is a respectable support area that can be bought through the rest of the year and above which I want to say that the, this uh, 1.5 uh, um, 1.527 formation is likely between now and the end of the year. We have some highs here in the 1.4 uh, area, 1.389. And if we closed above 1.40 at the end of this week, then 1.527, just a few weeks away. And finally, let's uh, finish with wheat. Uh, this is a, a Chicago Board of Trade wheat. It's a weekly continuation chart. It reflects the December 20 contract pl uh, presently. I just showed you the wrong chart. I wanted to start with this one, actually. We're in the midst of testing resistance in the upper 580s. Let's just call it 589 and 3 quarter that can absorb buying into November trade. And from here, the market can fall back uh, over the next, I don't know, uh, between now and the end of November to 513 half, uh, which is an area that can absorb selling through winter trade. 513 half is also one that if settled below would indicate several more months bearish continuation into the 460s where 469 even can contain selling through next spring possibly into summer of 2021 but once again holding below that 580s area i just showed you does allow 513 half and i use allow very uh you know very intentionally because there's no signal for 513 half yet. It's just that if you're a longer term trader, hedger, and you're playing the short side of wheat right now in the upper 580s, uh, you may hold that hedge, especially if it's a, a, a hedge of, on the March contract, December, March contract, uh, May contract, July contract of 2021. Um, you could hold that for several months into the 510s perhaps, but Closing above this 589 and three quarter formation at the end of this week, Monday, October 5th, would then indicate a much more significant area of resistance in wheat. And this is a 618 half to 626 even. It becomes, I'm going to say, a three to five week target if we close above that 589 and three quarter level I showed you a moment ago. And this 618 half to 626 area able to contain buying not only through the rest of the year, but even into spring, summer of next year. And this area is also a significant upside continuation point well into 2021. If the lead contract, Chicago Board of Trade Wheat, can settle any week above this 618 half to 26 even region, then I'm looking for the upper eights, the low $9 area. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> That's a, that there's really long term resistance up there. And I think that would become a viable objective uh, by some point in. Um, 2021, later 2021. I'll certainly illustrate those in the coming weeks if we were to settle any week above the 618 half to 626 even area lead contract week. But once again, not expecting it uh, unless we close this week, the week of uh, October 5th above 589 and three quarter. Until then, market can grow overbought and fall back into the 510s as I showed you a moment ago uh, over the next month or two. And that's really all that needs to be said for this week's After the Bell Supplement. So do yourself a favor. Fill out the free trial form on this website. 
Take that two-week test drive. You have nothing to lose and much to gain.